Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Ella Dishes It Out. Today we're gonna to be making uh, some rotisserie chicken. So let's get started. It's gonna be uh, Cajun injected rotisserie. This is my rotisserie. But I'm just gonna pat the chicken dry first. As you can see, I have a whole chicken. I've already washed it and cleaned it. So now I'm just gonna pat it dry with paper towel. Okay. I'm going to sit it down right there. Now, I have this um, Cajun Louisiana injectable marinade, and I have my uh, my needle with my syringe that I'm going to be injecting uh, the uh, chicken with. So I'm just going to pull some of that out, put it in my syringe like so, and then I'm just going to inject it into my chicken, into the legs, into the all the different parts of the chicken especially the breast, but I'm gonna do the wings part of it, the, the drum part of the wing. Okay, get some more. Let me move this basket on the so that I can have room to work with. You can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm going to inject this leg. I'm going to inject this leg. Okay, I'm going to inject my breast. I don't know if you can tell, but it's puffing up. Inject it. Injector. Seasoning is in it. I've already used half of this bottle. Um, on another dish that I was doing, another chicken that I had injected. I'm get all of this out of here and just inject it into my chicken. It's gonna taste so good when it's done. And I'm gonna rub some seasoning on the outside of the, of the of this chicken as well. You can do this with turkey. I always uh, inject my turkeys for Thanksgiving. It makes them taste so great and juicy. So they have uh, spice and juiciness on them. Okay. And then just pour the rest of it up on top of the chicken. I'm gonna get some garlic seasoning and put on it as well. Okay, so this is garlic pepper seasoning I'm gonna put on here. Make it, give it a good garlicky flavor. Flip it over, put some on the back. Now I'm gonna get some twine. I'm gonna tie down the wing and the legs together. So let me grab my twine really quickly. here so I'm going to this is Baker's uh, twine so you can use whatever twine you like to use but I'm gonna use Baker's twine so I just wrap it around that one leg and then I'm gonna go and wrap it around the other leg and then I'm gonna pull them to, oops, try to pull them together wrap it around this leg twice I guess then try to pull them together if you can together and tie it off. Okay, that one looks like it's trying to come off. That you don't want to happen. So just try to tie it as best you can. Let's tie it double knot. Okay, 
Okay, got that. Let me just grab a plate or something flat I can use. some flat surface so I can tie the wings off. Now, I'm going to have a longer piece. I'm going to wrap all the way around this chicken to keep the wings from breaking off and getting all burnt. I don't want that to happen. Go around again, so I'm just gonna have to do the best I can do here. Just gonna make it like a loop, tying a shoe. I'm gonna cut the ends off so they don't get burnt. Okay, and that's all you do. Grab your scissors. ends off like so and there you go your chicken is ready to be put on the spick you grab your spick I have my spick here I'm gonna put it through the chicken okay I'm gonna put that in my basket here the chicken's gonna sit down into the basket Okay, so then you want to just turn that till it locks in place. Whatever kind of rotisserie you're using, you're going to do that. Center this so it'll cook evenly. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to put it in your rotisserie cooker. Just like so. And lock it in place. Turn it around, close the door, and then you plug it in. I'm going to plug it in. And I'm going to turn on my rotisserie. It says for poultry, 18 to 22 minutes per pound. This is about a five pound chicken, so that's going to take about. Uh, a hundred minutes so that's about an hour and a half hour and 20 minutes I'm gonna put it on an hour and 20 minutes I mean 120 degrees the highest setting no that's a timer so that's 120 minutes okay so we're gonna let that cook for 120 minutes we'll come back and check on it in about an hour Okay, I've got about two minutes left on this rotisserie chicken. Let's check it out. Stop turning, so I guess it's done. Um, it looks really good. I take it out the basket. Turn this off. Okay, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Let's move this over a little bit so you can see what my chicken looks like. It looks really delicious. Let's turn it around. And we're gonna take the strings off of it and have a taste test. So let me grab my scissors. I'll take the string off the chicken. Let's cut it off. I put some foil on the wing so that they wouldn't get overcooked. The wing tips. And let's take the string off. That looks great. It looks awesome. Okay, let me grab a plate really quickly. Okay. We're going to plate this chicken. Move that over. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is take this spigot out. Pull out. 
Okay, I'm gonna get the chicken out of there. Just reach in there and pull it out to the side. And we have this delicious roasted chicken. I'm not gonna, well, I guess I will. I can cut it. Let me grab a knife. here and we're gonna cut a leg one of the legs off so you can see how delicious and juicy it turned out but first I'm gonna take some photos so let me just I'll come back Okay, this is our rotisserie chicken. We're getting ready to dig in here. It's not quite all the way done because I see some red blood. So I'm gonna stick it in the oven for a little while longer and let it cook because you don't want to eat uncooked chicken. So I'm gonna stick this in the oven and let it cook a little bit longer. So I'm gonna put it in this pan right here and I'm gonna cover it up because it's already brown. So I'm just gonna cover it with some foil and bake it in the oven for about probably 20 to 30 more minutes so that it can finish getting done. And then we'll come back and cut it again. Okay, it's time for the big reveal. I just took the chicken out of the oven. Ooh, it looks good. All right, now we can cut a piece of the leg off and see what happens. It's done. It's not pink on the inside anymore. See if I can pull this off. Okay, got this piece of chicken here. Looks delicious. I'm just gonna cut it, cut into it. Oh, look at that. You can see the seasoning in there. That looks so good. Look at that. That looks delicious. Now for the taste test. Mmm, that is so good. It's juicy. And it's mm, so good. This is delicious. One more piece. Mmm. That is good. You guys remember, please remember to like, subscribe, and share my channel. Ella dishes it out. It's spicy too. It tastes really good. Ella dishes it out. Thank you. Bon appetit.